Oh, hello, YouTube. Hello to you, my fellow metalheads, and hello to this lizard. I am the marvelous Duke Krishnak. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review on several items that I had purchased from the Metalhead box. Um, or that came in it. Should be a little bit more accurate. So, I'm referring to the uh, November Metalhead box that I received a handful of days ago. And I've listened to these CDs several times, and I'm basically going to just rank them from my favorite, or from my least favorite to my favorite. That being said, just because I did one of these things first does not mean that I did not like it. I could have thought all three was amazing, but just one was a pinch more amazing. Or I could have thought they were all horribly atrocious, so the last one was bad too. But... That's besides the point. Uh, all in all, decent enough for you. Just to set the tone. So, the first band I'm going to be talking about is Third Storm with their album um, Thanata Yarm. Th Thanata Thanata Yami. Once again, still can't fully pronounce that one. Um, you know, all in all, it was okay. I mean, it, it, it was okay. Um, I'll listen to it again, but, uh, what, is it something that I would regularly listen to? No, probably not. Um, I don't know. Here's my issue with it, is, well, let's just start. From the first song, there's only two songs in this um, thing. It's an EP, so it's not even a full-on... Um, sorry, he's being a little rambunctious. Um, yeah, so the first song from this EP, my issue with it is it starts off with this long, like, tornado, emergency, siren kind of sound. Um, and I've heard it so many times. I've, I've, I've heard that being done handful of times and it's just I don't know it's nothing really new to me and just thought it was kind of generic I don't know not the most creative thing personal opinion though um and then you know the song starts off fairly heavy and fast and you know it has a little slower parts in the beginning but it kind of you know gets you going a little bit but it kind of lets you down after that because it just, it sets the precedent that this album is going to be a faster, more heavy paced um, album, or album, it's an EP. And it just doesn't deliver that. It, they're basically a black doom or a black and doom band. And in the very beginning, I didn't really know that. I didn't get that impression. I thought they were just good old black metal, I guess. Um, and then, you know, when you get that sound established, it just kind of all of a sudden stops. And it's just like church bells, kind of creepy church bells ringing kind of sound. And, I don't know, it's just awkward out of place. It's in the middle of the fucking song. And then after that, it goes into a slower, doomier, heavy bass driving sound but yeah i don't know just it was weird because it just stopped out of fucking nowhere to a couple of creepy ringing the bells and then just all of a sudden started up the song again it was really weird it wasn't just it wasn't a slow gradual thing in and out it was just a okay we're done okay just kidding we're back i don't know it's kind of awkward i thought it was unnecessary it kind of Put a damper on the whole thing for me, to be completely honest. Uh, the second song is more consistent. You can definitely tell, you know, Black Doom is what they were going for. And it's interesting. I haven't heard of Black Doom before, to be completely honest with you. Also, I don't listen to a whole lot of Doom. It's kind of newer on my list of genres. So I'm not super well experienced in it, and that might be why I wasn't 100% into it. I don't know. It was cool. It's different. It was unique. I uh, did like 
pretty much the whole second song, but the first song, just those two little sound clip things, just I wasn't really doing it for me. It was almost a little misleading. I don't know. Hi, buddy. Sorry, he's being very cute right now. Um, yeah, next one. Thanatofaxith. The first issue I had with it is the their logo. I don't know. I literally would have never in my right mind guessed that it was a X and not an R. It's really weird. I'll show you in a second. A little preoccupied, but, you know. So, I liked it. You know, all in all, liked it. Let's see. Well, yeah, see, okay, so it's kind of hard to, um, hard to place and kind of explain. It's unique. It has its own clear, distinct, unique sound. Um, and that's awesome. Great. That really helps make a band. Um, I mean, what they kind of do through a lot of it is they start to go fast, and then they slow it down a bit. And they go a little faster, and then they slow it down a bit. And that's cool. That's kind of the thing. It adds to, you know, you get into it. It's nice and heavy and badass and stuff. And then it just kind of dissipates and goes back and forth. And that's cool because it's heavy enough that you can headbang to and get into it. But it's not heavy enough to just be a giant blur of consistent tremolo picking and blast beats and stuff. And it's, you know, not that that's wrong or bad in any means. Sometimes I love really heavy fucking black metal like that. But it's nice. It's just kind of like their thing. I don't know. You get heavy into it and it's cool. And then it's just like, oh, cool. All right. I don't know. It's cool. It's unique. Uh, I really like, you know, the creepy noise influences that they have in it. Um, and that really adds a lot of atmosphere, because I wasn't quite sure if this was an atmospheric black metal band or not. Um, it's kind of hard to place. I didn't really think they were. They may have been. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But I, you know, looked it up online and re-listened to it, and it kind of was easier to place that it was more of a noise influence and some little, like, ambient music. I don't know. It was pretty cool, but it was predominantly black metal with a little bit of noise thrown in there. Uh, yeah, it was interesting. I liked it. Um, I don't know, and it felt a lot more consistent than the last album, or EP. It felt like a full EP, you know what I mean? Like, the songs played off each other instead of just having awkward stops and starts. And Sorry, he has a thing with reflections. He doesn't understand how reflections work, so he's, like, being all weird next to my printer. It's kind of distracting. <sighs> but... Anyway, doofus, shall we continue now that you're done making a scene? So the next one was BCR Arcana was the name of the band. Holocausten, and that was my favorite one. Why? Because it was the most unique and it was the most consistent. Not to say that Phantom Effects was inconsistent, um... They definitely had their sound, and they stuck to it, and they did a good job with it, and it's cool and everything. Don't worry, he does this all the time. He's, he doesn't jump. Um, yeah, black metal with dark ambient influence is what it says when, you know, you do some Googling and Wikipedias. That's what it says on the Facebook. And it makes sense, because, like, the last band, you know, I thought maybe they're atmospheric black metal. Ah, oh, but that doesn't really make that much sense. Kind of. But not cliche, and that's very loose interpretation of um, atmospheric black metal. <sighs> yeah, so uh, so I mean, it was it was heavy enough, like the other um, album or EP I just talked about. It was heavy enough that you could definitely headbang to it and get the fuck into it. It'd be good at a pit and whatnot. That's all cool and everything, um, but with the sort of creepy sound effects going on in the background. Um, there's a lot of little tweaks and alterations to the vocal sound to make it a little more echoey and reverby. Speaking of which, there's a lot of echoey, reverby kind of sounds in there in the background that made it just slow, drudging on creepiness that was really dope because it was a more of a mid-tempo and sometimes fast-tempo album. 
but to have those cool, creepy background sound effects and whatnot in it was super cool. Yeah. Um, I really liked the spoken word that they did it. You know, they had a guy who would just kind of speak out poets, bulb poets, poem-like structures of creepy, dark, occult topics and stuff. Just, I don't know. Didn't sound anything remotely like that, but it was kind of cool. It was a little different than clean vocals, normal old singing. Uh, it added a, bit, a, a lot to the cool uh, environment of the album and stuff. So, all in all, I was pretty happy. I mean, nothing really blew me away. There was nothing super amazing. Jesus fucking Christ, this dork. Don't worry, he's, he's, he's still on there. He's good. But, yeah. It was solid altogether. The first band, uh, Third Storm, from Sweden. The, their album, Tartiami. Tartiami, I'm guessing is that is what it is. Um, I would rank that a uh, 4.5 out of 10. Fant Facts, if I pronounce that correctly, hopefully. I would put that at, and also it was kind of misleading because it's actually not a self-titled like I thought it was initially, but it's actually called the last song of that album, Void Masquerading as Matter, but it does clearly state that on here. Ah, uh, six. It was pretty good. Didn't blow me away. Pretty solid shit, right, Tano? Right. Um... Bestia Arcana. All in all, that was definitely my favorite. 6.5. I almost put it at 7 purely for the artwork on their album. It's fucking gorgeous inside and outside of the album. That's fucking just great all around. Right, bud? Right. So, 6.5. I was tempting on putting out 7 purely based on the artwork. Very unique. Hard to place. I dig it. Bless you. All in all, I give the whole three of the bands uh, six out of ten stars. Woo! Um, quick side note, Undergang, the shirt that I got from there, not actually Undergang. It's more like Undergang. I don't know. I'm not Danish. I can't pronounce Danish words. It means like apocalypse or annihilation, complete destruction. I don't know, something like that, basically in um, Danish. So it's Undergang. Um, they're cool. I listened to actually a couple albums. And I made the mistake, I just listened to it on my iPad, kind of in the background while I was playing a computer game. And I didn't hear as much from the album as I did the second time around. Right, Tato? You were listening to it with me too. And um, yeah, there's a lot of... I don't know, you have to listen to it a little more carefully, a little louder. To really pick up on some of the background vocals and whatnot that are kind of placed in there. Sometimes a little quiet. So, yeah. It's, it's pretty good shit. Um, uh, basically death doom. Mostly death with a little bit of doom and the creepy, slimy, almost stoner metal-y kind of sound in it. I don't know, it's cool, it's unique, I dig it. Um, I need to listen to more of them. And that's about it. So, I'm definitely going to actually wear this and not feel like a complete poser, loser, movie, boo, loo, doo, loser. Oh, no, right. And that is it for our review. Have a good day, you two. Have a good day.